The silver maple is a tree with some very unique characteristics. It is a species that decays much faster than other trees do. When it is harshly cut, you're starting a process that cannot be reversed. Long-term problems develop that can turn this tree into a ticking time bomb. When this tree was harshly pruned in the past, it opened it up to sun scald and a lot of other problems. This tree was also repeatedly cut back because of the power lines. My client asked me to do the best I could with this tree and I honestly told them that I thought it would be better off to start over. There were just so many severe defects throughout the whole tree. And the power company continues to do what they have to do. So my problem is, what do you do when you have a tree that is so severely decayed and the customer still wants to do something reasonable with the tree? So from the bucket truck, I started removing the worst areas of decay and the branches that were completely dead. But I tell you, there were some areas that were hiding weaknesses that I could only guess how bad it was. This doesn't look good at all. Now the silver maple is one of those trees that behaves differently than other trees. It rots very fast and quite often when you make a harsh cut on a tree like this, the decay extends a long way down through the columns of wood. Now when you make a decision to prune a tree that is as riddled with defects and weaknesses as the silver maple, it's very important to talk to the client and explain to them what they're up against and what they can expect for the future of this tree. Now I didn't feel good about pruning this tree at all. Frankly, I would have just as soon cut it down. But the client didn't want that and they were willing to gamble. And in many cases, it is a gamble. And for these particular clients, with this being the only shade tree they have in the front yard, it seemed very important to them to try to preserve it to the best of my ability. I guess this is uh, where I call this tree what I refer to as a basket case tree. It doesn't have a long-term life expectancy, but if I can keep it reasonably safe, then the clients are willing to accept the gamble. Now this is uh, an example of how the tree is progressing. You can see the right hand side of this photograph is where I have worked and I've taken out all the worst branches, the ones that were the most decayed and all the deadwood I could find. And Then I reduced a lot of the leverage, but note that I left enough terminal buds and areas that will open up with some foliage as soon as the, the tree leaves out. I didn't want to stub it back and start over um, I would have just as soon cut the tree down if that was the, the option. But I guess the most important thing that I can say is, yes, this tree is on its last legs. It'll probably decline and eventually die. If it was over the house, I probably would have declined doing this. But the client recognizes the problem. And finally, the client also recognizes that this is something they have to keep up on probably every year. Thanks for watching this presentation. My name is Blair Glenn, and have a good day.